this is the most Skynet news we can. This is, I mean, we're talking yeah, Skynet, Skynet, but yo, this is officially Skynet news. This is Skynet news right now. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Uh, a drone attacks soldiers on this moment, which means that no one told this drone to kill those people. The drone decided to kill those people on his own. Um, that's what this language means. Um, they programmed it efficiently enough that it went out there and murdered people. Um, and um, and this happened last year. So who knows what's happening this year? This year, exactly. <laughs> so 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 uh, the incident occurred in March 2020 in Libya. Um, a country that people there's so many walls in the, in, in the world right now people don't fucking pay attention to it but it's a civil war happening in Libya uh, Turkey Turkey is a key combatant in the war and deployed a drone which um, the US Security Council a panel of experts um, the drone which reported with a lethal autonomous weapon so um, let's go let's break this down what this means um, so uh, so we call out here. So pretty much what this means is that the, the the logistic convoys and retreating forces were hunted down, remotely engaged by lethal autonomous systems. The lethal autonomous systems were programmed to attack the targets without requiring data connectivity between the operator and the ammunition. In effect, a true fire, forget, and find capability. So all it had to do is it's like put it up in the air and go have some lunch and went off and killed people. Um so the UN is actually, I mean, we've been we're really worried about this for a long time. We're like, we were like, this is not good. And the fact that they did it last year, we're just finding it out now. Um, that's not good as well. The um, UN in 2018 attempted to begin working on a treaty that would ban autonomous weapons. But the move was blocked by both the United States and Russia. That's great. I guess they want to wipe each other out with robots, I guess, you know. That's because, of know. course, we want Boston Dynamic to be able to flip the switch on, Sci on Skynet and so, uh, and eradicate us all. So it's not in humanity's best interest that cheap slaughter bots. That's the thing. It's not like it's even worse than Skynet because those robots, the T-1000 look really fancy. It was like, look like a lot of money. But the bad future is when you can make something really cheap. And go and kill people with it and keep making cheap stuff to kill people. I want to show this drone. It looks like a fucking like DJI drone. It looks like so basic. Mm -hmm. um, I want to show a clip of this drone. It's scary. It just looks like they That's just why took I've a... never liked drones because if it... you could put a camera on them, you can put guns and missiles on them. So I want to show that this is like a test of this drone, how it kills people. Some cool, corny music. I mean, this is like the final boss in video games, like really like come to life. You having a picnic? Eat that. So not only that, and not only that it kills you, it kills you in a horrible way. Um, so it's like, at least just blow me up. Just blow me up. Don't put little shrapnel in me. That's awful, yo. So that weapon is made to torture. It's made to kill and torture. And that's not even allowed in the war under the uh, in war <laughs> under the Geneva Convention. So I want to show the next level. It so that's just like you know how them. police officers have hollow point bullets. Yeah, that they could use on civilians. Yeah. The military is not allowed to use them because of the Geneva Convention because it causes uh, excess and undue pain and suffering yeah. uh, for the victims. So, you know, police can use that on just, you know, regular people, but soldiers are not, are not even allowed yeah, to do it, that it in, the, in the war theater. Conditions, neurological conditions, like it cause pregnancies to get fucked up, all kinds of shit. I mean, if you get shot, that will fuck you up. If you get pregnant and you get shot, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely gonna fuck up. Your so that's his. That's his one drone shooting pellets into your chest. Um, so they want. They want. Imagine a swarm of these shits. It'll be just like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two. Do you remember? Do you remember the swarm in Black oh, yeah. Ops Two?
So this is horrifyingly scary. Um, kamikaze drones getting ready for swarm operation. Mm-hmm. And that's some uh, Black Ops Two shit. I'm done looking at this. So pretty much, <laughs> it's it's uh, like like I said, it's like you can just pick your target, your location, find that person, and then go off and then kill that person. You don't have to worry about it. You know, it's hearing yep. the news that they died. You know, that's that's really dark. Because back in the day with the drones, they would have drone operators and they would be getting PTSD from yeah. remotely murdering people because yeah. even those guys have consciences and souls and, and and they couldn't stomach doing that for very long. Imagine if you're using the so-called AI and machine learning yeah. and then it just goes off and, hey, just you know, just go indiscriminately end human lives. And this, and this probably explains another thing that happened recently, another conflict, how ruthless it felt a little more ruthless than usual um this is the israeli conflict and i want to share this next clip guess what they were using ai too oh uh, so so like that's why i didn't give a fuck about nobody even more mm -hmm. um if you have computers involved who gives a fuck about human life at that point um so they have really spooky names for these systems i just want to break down these systems in 11 day of fighting you know the palestinian jihad targets which were just like kids sleeping in their beds and stuff like that um so pretty much what happened um is they have these three two three programs that have spooky ass names alchemist gospel and death of wisdom um these are the artificial intelligence systems that they use with these spooky ass names um and pretty much gospel is used to generate recommendations for troops in research of division of military intelligence which is used to produce quality qu targets so gospel is the one that picked the targets, blow up that hospital, blow up that building. Um, for the first time, a multidisciplinary center was created that produces hundreds of targets relevant to developments in fighting. I just, the language they use is just like to humanize war is so weird. Um, yep. So, well, it was, it was fun being a human while, uh, actually it wasn't while it lasted, but, um, you know, any any, uh, any final words? Um, uh, the Borg. Since they're about to... Oh, yeah, we're definitely being assimilated. I think may maybe that's the way... To, maybe that's our salvation, to be half robot. To protect us from the full robots. This is how... Maybe we'll meet uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was his name? Locutius or some shit like that? Which... which you talking about Next Generation? Yeah. No, I haven't seen that show in a long time. Oh. Say, but this person, this is the Borg story. Yeah, is that the crazy lady Borg or is the with the very large breasticles? No, no, she, no, the weird head she had, the weird like alien head. That Borg lady. Uh no, this is when um when um uh Captain Picard was assimilated by the Borg. Oh, I mean this story is so depressing that I'm just gonna pull up Borg pictures anyway because we need a. <laughs> we need a that's so scary that you know they're just allowing computers to go off and murder people. So, so we gotta go. You to... will be assimilated. <laughs> Resistance. So is before futile. we close this future, future stuff, let's look at some Borg pictures. So, so when Picard got assimilated, he had a different name. Yeah, they, I think it was like Locutius or something. Oh yeah, see, like he becomes Locutius. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's our hope is to be half Borg to help us fight the robots. Um, and uh, apparently, um, you know, all this AI and machine learning, they will be Borging your loved ones. <laughs> we used to say that a lot. What the Borg you up? <laughs> yeah, that uh, that's an inside joke. Well, Messiah created that from a long, long time ago. I haven't heard that, that in there. so long. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's coming back because, you know, uh, shit's getting crazy with artificial intelligence. So watch out for this news. Hopefully, it's not just a UN report because a lot of people just feel the UN doesn't do shit. You know, hey, stop, stop. And then, like, people keep killing each other. <laughs> so, if you are watching this, you are the resistance. Yeah. <laughs> John Connor, it's time. <laughs> get down, get down. <laughs> get down now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to hell. <laughs> So, yeah, so they used the drone to kill some people. And um, so uh, this is Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, and then you can follow Dr. Regenius. He's live on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, talking shit. And that is...
future stuff happening now because they can fly right into your window right now, buddy. Kamikaze style. Yep. 